Welcome to Frost Astrophotography. In this video we're going to do a comparison of the first time I photographed the Hart Nebula back in October and in 2021, one of the first sessions ever as an astrophotographer with the uh, Canon 60D DSLR and uh, comparing that to uh, the Hart Nebula with my ASI 294mm Pro in uh, narrowband. So looking back in my Instagram, I can see that it was October 16 and this was my third session. I had just started out in this hobby. I was using the Canon 60D and it was a cold night uh, of me taking four minute exposures with my Canon camera and that resulted in a two hour total integration. Back then I was a beginner in uh, both astrophotography and image processing. Uh, I did the stacking in a Deep Sky Stacker but I did the image processing in Pix Insight. First we're going to look at one four minute exposure with my DSLR and as you can see here you can't see much really. Looking at the stacked image you can see a bit more. Now this has not been calibrated for colors or anything uh, like that. And opening the final processed image. Uh, I didn't save any images in the workflow back then, so I can't show you anything between the stacked image and the final processed image. So the final image is a two hour total exposure of the Heart Nebula with the uh, Canon uh, 60D camera without any filters on the EvoStar 80 ED Skywatcher telescope. So I revisited this uh, object a couple of months ago as the final project for the season for me. The nights are short here at 63 uh, degrees north and the astronomical dark is uh, long gone. I used my ASI 294mm Pro camera and captured the Heart Nebula in SHO narrowband filters and these are the uh, stacked images for each filter but not edited in any way. And this is 12 hours worth of exposure compared to the two hours I had with my DSLR earlier. I did some initial processing steps in a nonlinear phase. I did some uh, dynamic background extraction, a deconvolution, and also some multi-scale linear transformation to remove noise. Next step was to uh, permanently stretch the three images and also do some a additional processing just to adjust the contrast of the images. Next step was to 
make a starless version of all three. Now these uh, are not all of the steps that I normally take in my workflow. If you're interested to look at uh, my workflow in detail, you can check out my four part Pix Insight tutorial. And in, in those I will cover uh, all of the steps that I use in my processing workflow for a mono narrowband image. So when I have the starless version of all three, I combine them into an SHO version and then started to do the linear processing of the image. And that involves some curves transformation, uh, some more uh, multi-scale linear transformation to reveal details. I also did a unsharp mask to sharpen the image. And finally, TGB denoise to remove noise from the image and also some additional uh, adjusting of the curves and colors. I also used SC and R to remove the greenish hue from the image, ending up with a classic SHO look. Something like this on the right here. I then took my uh, HA stars and that is the stars from the uh, master stacked HA image only. I reduced these slightly and then I combined the original stars from HA reduced with the uh, SHO processed image and ended up with an image like this. We can compare that to a single or we can compare it to the stacked, uh, I was going to say, HA master. Now bringing up uh, the original you can see that the size of the image, uh, the scale is pretty much the same between the Canon 60D DSLR and the ASI 294mm Pro camera. So the image on the right here is my DSLR, two hours of exposure. And on the left here is a 12 hour exposure ASI 294mm Pro with SHO narrowband. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see me do a video on a specific topic, please leave a comment and please consider subscribing to my channel. Even though I won't be doing uh, as many videos during the summer as I've done during the winter. I am uh, looking into uh, photographing the sun, but I don't actually have a telescope suitable for that now or a filter suitable for that, but I will try to get that going soon. I'm also planning on doing a uh, pier in my backyard and uh, I will do videos on that work during the summer. Until the next video, I wish you have clear skies.